Hi, it's Bob from Our Travel Adventures. Today I'd like to talk to you about our trip to Montserrat and a tour through a cava house. We decided to take a day trip from Barcelona. Montserrat caught my eye with the serrated mountains it's named for and the interesting story behind the Black Madonna. I went through my normal research to plan our day and found it really isn't easy or affordable to get to the monastery without renting a car. We decided to take a tour offered by Devour Tours that covered the monastery and also stopped for a tour of a cava house. I think it's important to mention we have no affiliation with Devour Tours, we paid for the tour ourselves, and we'll give you our honest opinion on our experience. In short, it was fantastic. Our guide was very friendly and knowledgeable. The bus was very comfortable. We had 12 people in our tour out of a max of 15, so it wasn't crowded and it didn't feel like we were just cattle being herded along. We got on the road early and arrived before the tourist crowds, so we didn't have to wait in line to see the Black Madonna, and because others weren't waiting, we weren't hurried through the experience. The Basilica is beautiful. There are statues by the same artist whose work is featured on the resurrection site of Sagrada Familia. The concave faces in the courtyard will look familiar if you've already visited there. After the basilica, we had some time on our own. Renee and I chose to ride the funicular to the top of the mountain, of course for an additional cost, and we hiked around for a while. Just check out these views. When we returned back down, we still had some time, so we decided to take another hike at the basilica level. It was neat to see the basilica through the woods, and we found this statue that celebrates the boys' choir that's also housed here. They all learn an additional instrument. The gift shop had lots of items made by the resident monks, including a line of digestives, and local cheesemongers sold their wares, and we enjoyed a cottage cheese with honey. Now for the kava experience. Of course, we started with some tapas and a tasting. Salut. Below the tasting room, we got to go into the cellar. They showed us how they create the bubbles inside the wine and the sediment that it leaves. To get rid of the sediment, they actually turn the bottle upside down and freeze the neck of the bottle to trap the sediment. Then they pop the bottle and it shoots that ice dam out and removes the sediment. They'll refill the bottle then and I got to replace the cork in this bottle and then Renee got to work on replacing the cage. First, they force the metal cap down over the cork and then they have to twist it to tighten it back up onto the bottle so that it won't allow the pressure to pop that cork back out. You can't hear it in the video, but when they released the bottle, I yelled bang or something and you can see they both jumped. Anyway, we got to take this bottle home with us and enjoyed it later on that evening in Barcelona. Now we jumped into the four-wheel drive and out to the vineyards we went. They normally serve lunch out here, but rain was threatening. So we just enjoyed some more wine as we learned about their methods of uh, organic wine production in the vineyards. Salute again. Back at the cellars for our lunch, we got to walk through again, see all their bottle storage, and they definitely had some uh, old stock back in the area that they let us back into. We got to make tomato bread and had a traditional grape picker lunch of sausage and beans. Thanks for watching. Whether you joined us to get some hints and tips for your own vacation or just living vicariously through our adventures, we're glad you're here. Please hit the subscribe button and join us on our future adventures.